Walking back. Walking back. You're walking backwards. Stop. Just take uh, two steps to your left. Get back in your house. Keep walking back. Keep walking back. Keep walking back. Keep walking back. Put your hands behind your back. Relax. You got anything on you? Right Where you live at? Right here. What kind of vehicle you're on? Right here. Right here. Okay. Where'd you come from? Right. Who's right here? It's right here in my house. I went over you my just house. came home? Yes, sir. Actually, I didn't even leave my house. Okay. I saw all the lights. We walked up there. Yeah. Walked up where? I walked right up there to the trash cans. The dumpsters up there. Okay. We got an armed robbery up here, and, we, and the dog tracked to you. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. Turned out that he wasn't the bad guy. He was just, him and his mother were just overlooking the scene because they saw a bunch of flashing lights and sirens, and they seen the police getting guns out. So, listen, I tra tracked you, seen you outside. That's why you're here in handcuffs, okay? Thank you for your cooperation, okay? After a thorough search, the dog loses the trail. For Deputy Shaw, his work is over. <sighs> He heads back to his home jurisdiction and leaves the attempted robbery in the hands of the Washington County officers. Yeah, it's not every day you get a, a, a response to an armed robbery at a, at a store like this, so kind of unique.